Hello student in our previous lecture we completed third chapter now today we are take a revision of this third chapter whatever we are studied we just take a revision of that so here we know that this chapter is divided in three part there here we are taking that the pre fertilization then fertilization and the post fertilization we say that the humans they are doing the sexual reproduction and they are the viviparous organism in that we are taking that the pre fertilization this pre fertilization is divided into part first it is known as the what a gametogenesis and another it is called the gamete transfer gametogenesis and the gamete transfer for the gametogenesis we have to study about the male and female both cause in human male and female both the structures are present here first we study about the male reproductive system in that we are taking that the male in that the three parts are present the main it is called the testes then the accessory ducts accessory gland and the external genitalia is present these all the structures are present into the male in that we are study about the testes structure of the testes and the function of the testes then we are taking the next that is we are taking the accessory duct in that we are taking that rete testes vas differentiation epididymis and vas differentiation this all structure we are studied over there afterward we study about the accessory gland in that we are taking the three gland semina vesicles number 2 bulbo urethral gland and number 3 that is called the prostate gland and afterward we are study about the external genitalia and that is known as the penis then afterward we are taking how the sperm are produced into the male and for that we have to study about the structure it is called the spermatogenesis what it is called spermatogenesis spermatogenesis in that what is present so in that the first structure spermatogonia is present that spermatogonia is go under the dividation and ultimate that we are getting the sperm but in this process sperm they are not directly produced but they have to enter into the another process and that is known as the what a spermiogenesis it is called what spermiogenesis in that spermiogenesis we says that here what happened so here the sperm they has to be enter or the spermatids they has to enter into the what spermatozoa that means they are converted into the what spermatozoa in that spermatozoa that we are says that there are three parts are present on the sperm which three parts are present on that so we are says that there are the head middle piece and the what tail is present so here the gametogenesis in that we are we are taking male reproductive system in that male reproductive system what will produce so in that sperm are produced by the what process of the spermatogenesis and what we are getting so ultimate here the sperm are produced okay so here we are calling them the male gametes this all the process are happen under the what that is called the male gamete production okay so first here we are taking that pre fertilization in that gametogenesis or in that what we are taking male gamete or the production of the male gamete now for the production of the male gamete there are some enzyme uh, sorry there are some hormones they are also affecting the that we are study that is called which hormone so that is called the gth in that fsh and lh is present this two hormones it is affecting the process of the male gamete production that here we are taking that now in gametogenesis we also study the another process and that is called what a female gamete production because you are only the male gamete it is not enough for the production of the zygote so you are the female gamete production now in that what we are study so we study about the female or in that what we are study so the main organ that is called the ovary ovary is present into the female there are the one pair of ovary is present and that is related 
with the production of the ova that is the essential part of the what fertilization without sperm and ova the fertilization is not possible and due to that we are not getting the what a zygote so that is a very important now here that in female in that other accessory parts are present that is for oviduct uterus cervix vagina and the external genitalia and the mammary gland this all thing we are studied in detail especially oviduct and the uterus oviduct divided in three parts in pandibulars the number 2 ampulla and number 3 stems then we study about the what next point that is called what uterus in that uterus that is called a womb and it is divided into the three part okay three layers are present at that perimetrium myometrium and endometrium each have their own function each layer is related with their own function so there are the three parts are present the next point here we are study about the external genitalia of female in may the only penis is taken into the external genitalia but in female there are so many parts are present mons pubic labia major labia minor clitoris thus all things are present and in vagina one membranous structure is present that partially cover it that is called the hymen thus all things that we are study into the female reproductive system and the accessory part in that we are also taking the mammary gland cause in female mammary gland is present from birth but it is differentiated differentiated during the pregnancy and ultimate it's provide a milk to the growing baby for the what as a food purpose so this is the structure of the what a female reproductive system now in that we are study about the what oogenesis process that means a production of the what ova in that we are study that like a spermatogenesis is present into where so it is present in male but at the puberty but in female the production of the ova it is started when she is in mother womb when she is growing in her mother womb at that time the oogenesis will be a started and the ova is start to form ultimate it is converted into the primary oocyte that it is called the secondary oocyte the ultimate it is divided when it is present in mother womb there are millions in number but when she it is reach at the puberty it will be a 60000 to 80000 and there we are known as the what primary follicles this primary oocyte go under the primary follicles secondary follicle tertiary follicles and ultimate this primary oocyte converted into the what the secondary oocyte but the nutrition which is present into the primary oocyte is remaining same into the what secondary oocyte why cause i told you where the fertilization occur into the ampulla stemma junction from that to up to the uterus that fertilize zygote is needed a food and that food is provided by the what ova and that's why the nutrition is stored into the primary oocyte and that is carry forwarded into the secondary oocyte then we have say that it is converted into the graphene follicles ultimate the menstrual cycle will be a started in that at a 14th day the ovulation will be a start and afterward it is a heavy chances for the pregnancy after what we say is that the graphene follicles converted into the corpus luteum okay where the ovulation occur but the end or the secondary oocyte is not converted into the ovum before the fertilization that means when the sperm is come near to the ova and what that ova is converted into the what mature ova that means the secondary oocyte converted into the ovum so this type of structure is present into the what a spermatogenesis and oogenesis ultimate what will produce so ultimate the female gametes are produced that means here we study about the female reproductive system that is producing ova and that is called what a female gamete production so these two things are taken into the gametogenesis 
how the gametogenesis occur or in that male and female both the gametes are produced now we are taking the next point that is called the gamete transfer this gamete transfer it is called what insemination what it is called insemination cause a male has to secrete their sperm into the body of female okay that we are known as the what a that is called what semen that semen is secreted into the what a female body now in that what is happening so when the sperm is secreted into the female body that is reach up to the what ampulla is semus junction where both will come together because of that what happened at this area where ova and sperm both will come then only the fertilization occur without this part in any part of the female body fertilization is not possible so is that area both has to come together ampulla is the mass junction ova and sperm both will come they join with each other and that is converted into the what so the fertilization occur and due to the fertilization it is converted into the what zygote okay it is converted into zygote so at that time i told you when sperm is come near to ova the last division will be a started and here the secondary oocyte converted into ova the nucleus of sperm enter or the mix with the nucleus of the ova and ultimate it is converted into the zygote that is known as the what a fertilization what it is called fertilization after the fertilization that will that zygote it has the ability of the totipotency that means that one zygote it has the ability to form whole organism and that's why it is known as the totipotency ultimate it is divided into 2 4 8 16 cell and that is this process is done by the clevenge ultimate 8 to 16 cell structure will form that is known as the morula that morula converted into the blastomere and ultimate the blastocytes are developed in that blastocyte there are the two layers are present number one that is called the trophoblast and another it is called what inner cell mass what it is called inner cell mass the blastomere or oh sorry the trophoblast they are form what so they are forming the finger like projection and that is a known as the vis structure so that is known as the what coronic villi this coronic villi is covered by the uterine tissue and the mother blood vessels ultimate it is converted into the placenta so the placenta is present between the mother and the fetus afterward this placenta they are doing a three type of function at uh, this point uh, from the pregnancy and the embryonic development that is taken into the what post fertilization so in that what will be a present so the placenta it is converted they are the used for the three function number one they are provide o2 and the nutrition to baby or the embryo and co2 and the other um, extra or the waste material is enter into the mother body even the placenta is behave as a hormonal gland and the what ultimate from the embryo to the embryo they are transfer the thing so this thing they are done by the placenta even in mother body some other hormones are present which are increased for maintain the metabolism of mother and the growth of embryo now the inner cell mass that is converted into embryo we are calling them stem cells and it is a very important why because it is lead to form all the type of the organ and tissue that's why it is known as the what stem cell it has the capacity to form whole organism now that embryo which is present over there that is form three layer ectoderm then mesoderm and at last endoderm the three layers are form over there again the embryo is form a three layer ectoderm then mesoderm and then what endoderm the three layers are there the three layer according to that they are produce a different organ then we are taking the other point 
that in different organism the embryonic development it is take a different timing example that we are taking in human it is taking what 9 month where in elephant it is taking 8 10 to 22 month where in dog and cat it is 58 to 67 days so we can say that in the different organism there are the different time durations are present in that time duration there are the growth will be a different that we can say that after one month here we are taking the growth of them so here we are see that after what a one month what will develop heart will develop okay that is the first sign of the growth of embryo what will develop heart after a second month what will be a develop? So in that the two month is completed. Then in that what will be a limbs and the digits are produced. What will produce? Limb and digits. Where after a first trimester what will produce? So most of organ system Especially in that limbs and external genital. Now duration of the fifth month. Where it, a fifth month is running at that time. What happened? First movement of baby. And what? First movement of baby. And hair on head. Okay. After that first time is. Then 24 week. What happened? Baby is covered by fine hair. Baby is covered by what? Fine hair. Eyes are. They have the what? Eyelids. That means. The eyelids are separated. And then what eyelashes are developed over there. Ultimate after the 9 months, baby is completely developed. Again we are taking the growth of that. In that we are taking that what happened? After a fourth month, heart will develop. Second month, limbs and digits are developed. At the first trimester, most of organ system, limbs and the external genitalia is developed. After a fifth month, First movement of baby and the hair on the heads are present. After 22 weeks, a baby is covered by the fine hair, eyes. In that, the eyelids are divided and eyelashes are developed. Like this way, the development is occurred and after 9 months, the complete baby is developed and it is ready for delivery. Now, here we are taking the next point that is called the parturition and the what? Lactation. In that, we are taking that in parturition. What we are calling that? When the baby is completely developed, it is now ready to come out from the mother body. That is known as the what a parturition. In that, what we are saying is that a complete developed baby they produce the what a sign that by the placenta. Produce in the what? Mother. Uterus. Okay. In mother uterus, mild contraction will be a start. This is known as the what? A fetus. Ejection. Reflex. That means, reflection for the fetus ejection. Fetus ko bahar ana. Ejection matlab kya bahar ana. Kisko? Fetus ko. Fetus ko bahar ana ke liye jo reflectory arch kaam karta hai. That is called the fetus ejection reflex. This is related with the nervous system. Then what happened? It is affect the pituitary gland of mother or the maternal pituitary. It is secreted oxytocin. That is start 
स्ट्रॉन्ग कॉन्ट्रेक्शन इन मदर यूटेरस मोर ऑक्सीटोसिन मोर कॉन्ट्रेक्शन इन मदर सॉरी यूटेरस एंड अल्टीमेट द बेबी इज डिलीवर आउट बाय दी वॉट बर्थ कैनल ओके फ्रॉम द यूटेरस बेबी इज डिलीवर आउट फ्रॉम द वॉट बाय द बर्थ कैनल अल्टीमेट वेन द बेबी इज कम आउट इट नीड अ फूड एंड दैट फूड इज प्रोवाइडेड बाय द मदर सो वी डिस्कस अर्लियर वी से इज दैट द मेमोरी लैंड इन फीमेल इट इज प्रेजेंट फ्रॉम द बर्थ but it is differentiated during the pregnancy and after a birth of baby or the end of delivery or sorry end of pregnancy from the mammary gland the milk is produced that milk is provided to the baby for the nutrition purpose but initial days the milk is coming from the mother body it is known as the colostrum and the colostrum is a very important for the baby it is provide the what antibodies and it is needed for the what healthy baby it create or it is increase the resistance power of baby we will complete it third chapter and we just revise this chapter i hope you don't have any query if you have then you can ask it to me now we are start with the second point that is called the summary of this chapter page number 55 seen that humans are sexually reproduced and viviparous that means humans in that the male and female are different okay and they are give a birth to baby so they are the sexually reproduced and viviparous male reproductive system is composed of pair of testes and that what is present one pair of testes the male sex accessory duct and the accessory gland and the external genitalia what is present three structures are present accessory duct accessory gland and external genitalia each testis has about 250 compartment called the testicular lobes in testis there are 250 testicular lobes are present in that testicular lobes what is present so in each lobes containing 1 to 3 highly colloid seminiferous tubules so what is present in that seminiferous tubules 1 2 3 seminiferous tubules are present and they are the colloid structure each seminiferous tubules is lying inside spermatogenia and the sertoli cell there are what is present spermatogonia and the sertoli cells spermatogonia they are the cell which are produce this sperm where the sertoli cells they are providing the what a uh, nutrition where the spermatogonia undergo the meiotic division they are leading to sperm formation while sertoli cells provide nutrition to the dividing germ cells now the leading cells outside the seminiferous tubules i told you that if this are the seminiferous tubules then in between what is present a space is present that space are known as the what a leading cells okay there is the leading cells are present so outside the seminiferous tubules in the size and secrete testicular hormones called the what androgen it is secreted what androgen the male external genitalia is called penis now next paragraph the female reproductive system consists of a pair of ovary oviduct uterus vagina external genitalia and a pair of mammary gland the ovarian the ovaries produce the female gamete called sperm and the steroid hormones which they are estrogen and progesterone ovarian follicles are different stages developed and embedded in the stroma we know a very well we see the section or we see the structure where the ovarian follicles they are present into the stroma and they are the main source for the estrogen so where they are present so they are present into the stroma of the ovary ovarian follicles in different stages develop are embedded into stroma the oviduct uterus and the vagina are the female accessory duct uterus it has a three layer perimetrium outer side give a protection myometrium 
मिडल लेयर इट इज फॉर वॉट कॉन्ट्रेक्शन एंड रिलैक्शन वेर द एंडोमेट्रियम दे आर रिलेटेड विद द मेन्स्ट्रोअल साइकिल एंड द फीमेल एक्सटर्नल जेनिटालिया इंक्लूड्स मॉन्सपिबिक लेबिया मेजोर लेबिया माइनोर हाई मैन एंड क्लिटोरिस द मेमरी ग्लैंड आर ऑल्सो प्रेजेंट दे आर द वन पेर इन फीमेल एंड दे आर द सेकेंडरी सेक्शुअल कैरेक्टरिस्ट वेर वी रिवाइज द चैप्टर एट द टाइम वी forget to revise menstrual cycle so once we see that in menstrual cycle there are the three layers are present in that what is present first layer in that what is present so first one it is known as the what a menstruation in the menstruation the first three day it is in that the blood is flow cause the endometrium is rupture due to the leaking of the fertilization second it is called the follicular phase in the follicular or the pro uh, proliferative phase in this phase what is present follicles are developed from the primary follicles to the what a uh, mature follicles or it is called the graphian follicles afterward in the luteal phase or the secretory phase it is a corpus luteum is developed but in this days 14 to 28 day if the fertilization is not occur then what happen so the corpus luteum is the what a degrade because of that what happen again the menstrual cycle will be a started so this is the 28 day cycle when the first time female is uh, happen in female happen a menstrual cycle then it is known as the menarche so again what is present so here the menarche then what present menstrual cycle and that is converted into the what a menopause because in female after the 50 ova is not produced and that is known as the what a menopause so this is called the menstrual cycle now we are come on the third point third paragraph spermatogenesis result in formation of sperm that are transported by the male sex accessory duct a normal human sperm is composed of head neck middle face and tail the process of formation of the mature female gamete called the oogenesis the reproductive cycle of female primate it is called the menstrual cycle menstrual cycle start only after the attain, uh, attain sexual maturation that means at a puberty it will be a started during the ovulation only one ovum is released per menstrual cycle that means every month one ovary is releasing one sperm remember left and right two ovaries are present but both are producing ova alternately the cyclic change in the ovary and the uterus during the menstrual cycle are induced by changes in the level of pituitary and the ovarian hormones after a coitus sperms are transport to the junction of the isthmus and the ampulla where the sperm fertilize the ovum leading to formation of the diploid zygote the presence of x or y chromosome in this sperm determine the sex of embryo the zygote undergo the repeated mitotic division to form a blastocyte which implant in uterus then it lead to pregnancy after 9 month of pregnancy the fully developed fetus is ready to deliver the process of child birth is called the parturition which is induced by the complex neuro endocrine system or the mechanism involve cortisol <coughs> estrogen and the what oxytocin mammary glands differentiate during the pregnancy and secrete milk after a child birth the newborn baby is fed milk by the mother it is called the lactation during the initial few month of the growth but remember the delivery or the parturition is the natural process now see in your book in page number 55 i just explain whole exercise uh exercise ke jo sare questions hai अगर आप अपनी नोट्स को देखोगे तो उसके अंदर मैंने सारे क्वेश्चन लिखा दिए हैं जिसके आंसर ऑलरेडी अंदर अवेलेबल है जिसके नहीं है वो तो आप यहां पे देख सकते हो या सॉल्व एक्सरसाइज
in that first we are taking filling the blanks so number 1 human reproduce how they are reproduce sexually number 2 humans are oviparous viviparous or oviviparous then we know that they are the viviparous number 3 fertilization in human it is which type so it is internal number 4 male and female gametes are which type haploid gametes are always which type of haploid okay then what number 5 zygote is what it is always diploid zygote is what diploid then what the process of release of ova from a mature follicles is called yahan se option nahi diye so remember that is called what ovulation what it is called ovulation number 7 ovulation is induced by hormones which hormones that is called lh luteinizing hormones then the fusion of male and female gametes okay it is called what fertilization it is called what fertilization fertilization take place at when so it is take place into the where ovary duct where it is so ovi duct zygote divide to form so it is form what blastocyte what it is form blastocyte at last the structure which provide vascular contraction between the what the fetus and uterus it is known as the what placenta what it is called placenta then second question draw what are here there are the male reproductive system you have to draw a diagram of the what male reproductive system your first diagram this diagram okay then third question female reproductive system so this one okay you have to draw this is a or even you can draw this one okay this is the easy figure and you are able to draw number 4 write a two major function of each testis and ovary so testis are produced from and what what is present in that the seminiferous tubules are present they are produce the androgen wherein ovary they are produce ova and the what female hormones estrogen and progesterone describe the structure of seminiferous tubules so see the page number 43 there they are writing that what is present in first paragraph each testis have 250 compartment from that to at last other immunological compartment cells are present so second paragraph is taken in that or even in your notes i will describe okay humne wo separate topic likha hai what is spermatogenesis by the describe process of you know that you have to draw a chart of spermatogenesis and the process aapki notes mein wo pura acche se likha hua hai kis uh, aapki figure ke sath chart ke sath likha hua hai name of the hormones is regulate the spermatogenesis to jo humne likha hua tha gth is present in that so the hypothalamus is secreted gnrh that is uh, induce the pituitary and it is what secret gth then what is present define the spermiogenesis and spermiation spermiogenesis that means the production of sperm where a spermiation that means where the sperm are released from the what a seminiferous tubules at that time they are what embedded into the sertoli cell that is called the spermiation here you have to write just only they what a definition then in question number 9 you have to draw this figure okay 
it is what a uh, describe this is what a figure of the sperm that you have to draw over there in question number 9 where in question number 10 there are the compartment of the uh, component of the seminal plasma so you have to write only the component which component so there are only fructose calcium and the enzymes are present that much you have to write over there afterward what is the major function of the accessory male accessory duct and gland so if you remember to agar aap apni notes khologe to uske andar maine likha hai accessory male accessory duct aur har ek ka separate part likha hua hai रेटेडेस्ट्रीज के बारे में वास डिफ्रेंशिएशन के बारे में सो वो आपको यहाँ पे लिखना है देन ऊजनेसिस एंड गिव ब्रीफ अकाउंट ऑफ ऊजनेसिस सेम वे ऊजनेसिस भी हमने नोट्स में लिखा हुआ है इन दैट व्हाट इज प्रेजेंट यू हैव टू ड्रॉ फिगर ऑफ दैट ओके एंड देन यू हैव टू डिस्क्राइब दिस इज अ फिगर ओके एंड यू हैव टू डिस्क्राइब दिस फिगर देन नेक्स्ट पॉइंट Here we have to draw the label graphene follicles. उसके अंदर draw है दिस वे द ग्राफिन फॉलिकल्स आर प्रेजिंग इन साइड दैट एंड हियर द ओव्यूज इज प्रेजिंग सो दिस टाइप ऑफ फिगर इज गिवन इन योर बुक हेयर इट इज दिस इज द फिगर ऑफ द वर्ड ग्राफियन फॉलिकल्स दैट यू हैव टू ड्रॉ देन वॉट इज प्रेजिंग function of the corpus luteum so right over there they are secrete the what progesterone endometrium it is very important for the undead embryo that we can say that it is important for the what even menstrual cycle acrosome it is the head part of the sperm and in that so many enzymes are present especially hyaluronidase which are related to enter a nucleus of sperm into the ova then sperm tail sperm tail is very important for the male cause a male sperm has to transfer into the female body and for that a movement of sperm sperm tail is important fimbri is the initial part of the infundibulus it is collect the what ova from the ovary and it is enter into the ov duct well question number 16 in that true and false so androgen are produced by sertoli cell so it's false androgen are produced from the leading cells spermatozoa get nutrition from the sertoli cell so it is true third number leading cells are found in ovary so it is false leading cells are present in testes leading cells synthesize androgen yes ogenesis take place in corpus luteum no it is take place into the ovary menstrual cycle crisis during the pregnancy yes duration of the pregnancy menstrual cycle is not formed presence or the absence of hymen is not a reliable indicator of the virginity of sexual expression so that's a true what is menstrual cycle so that definition we are writing uh it is given in your book the reproduction of cycle in female primate it is called the menstrual cycle or in that which hormones are present so lh fsh estrogen and progesterone what is parturition and hormone is involved there so the last paragraph of our book last topic in that the hormones is oxytocin and other you have to just write a name that is called oxy in the society the women often blame the giving birth of the daughter can you explain why it is not correct so that we are writing in female what is present there are the two x chromosome is present in male there are the x and y so here only one x is produced here x and y so always male is the responsible for the what production of the male and the female child the next point in that how many eggs are released in the human ovary in a month so every month ovary is released one ova and that is alternative one month right side 
another one left side in that what is present how many eggs do you think would have be released if mother give birth identical twins yahan pe main pucha hai ki identical twins or non identical twins kaise bante yaad rakhna dhyan se dekhna yahan pe what will happen so in mother ova is produced and that ova is fertilized by what sperm theek hai in mother what produce ova and it is fertilized by sperm so what will develop in that so here we can say that that is called the zygote zygote is produced in zygote what is present it is decided it will be xx or it will be xy जाइगोट के अंदर ही ओवर स्पॉप से डिसाइड हो जाता है कि वो जाइगोट जो है वो फीमेल को बर्थ करेगा या मेल को बर्थ करे उसके बाद क्या होता है यहाँ पे क्लेवेश होता है दैट जाइगोट इन दैट क्लेवेश विल हैपन ड्यू टू दैट क्लेवेश व्हाट हैपन वन सेल कन्वर्टेड इनटू दी टू सेल हाउ मेनी सेल टू सेल बट वॉट हैपन इन दैट इफ दैट क्लेवेश इज कम्प्लीटेड अगर वो क्लेवेश पूरा होता है सो so यहाँ पे दोनों सेल एक दूसरे से सेपरेट बन जाते ठीक है इसका मतलब क्या हुआ जाइगोट जो था इन दैट इट इज डिसाइडेड इट विल बी एक्स एक्स और इट विल बी एक्स वाई तो यहाँ पे अगर दो सेल जो सेपरेट हो रहे हैं या तो दोनों की दोनों लड़की होंगी या तो दोनों लड़के दैट मीन्स इट विल बी बोथ ऑफ आर मेल और बोथ आर फीमेल अगेन आई एम रिपीटिंग इट्स अ वन ओवा it is fertilized by sperm so the zygote will develop zygote is decided it will be xx or it will be x y once the zygote is decided it is enter into the clavish but if the clavish is complete form then the two cells are separated so you know that cell are both are xx or it will be a x y so this one if both are female or the both are male produce from a single ova then they are known as the what a identical twins that is called what identical twins but if what happened by chance in mother one month that two ova is produced agar female ke andar kabhi kabhi aisa hota hai ki ek mahine mein do ova produce hote that will be a fertilized by two sperm तो दो दो ओवा थे उसके लिए फर्टिलाइजेशन के लिए कितने स्पॉम चाहिए दो सो टू ओवा इज फर्टिलाइज बाय टू स्पॉम सो हाउ मेनी टू जाइगोट आर प्रोड्यूस कितने जाइगोट प्रोड्यूस होंगे दो जाइगोट ठीक है अगर एक ओवा जो स्पॉम से फर्टिलाइज हो रहा है वो एक्स एक्स है शो इट्स विल बी अ फीमेल दूसरा जो एक्स है वो अगर उसके अंदर स्पॉम में से वाई आएगा सो इट विल बी अ मेल सो नॉन आइडेंटिकल ट्विंस का मतलब क्या हुआ कि जो ट्विंस अलग अलग ओवा में से प्रोड्यूस होते हैं दे आर द नॉन आइडेंटिकल ट्विंस बट एक ही ओवा का क्लेवेश होने के बाद एक ही साइकोट में से क्लेवेश होने के बाद अगर दो सेल प्रोड्यूस होते हैं और वो दो सेल दो बच्चों के अंदर कन्वर्ट होते हैं सो दैट इज कॉल्ड वॉट आइडेंटिकल ट्विंस अगेन आई एम रिपीटिंग इन मदर इट्स अ वन ओवा it is fertilized by one sperm so it is converted into zygote that zygote is start to clavish but oh, at a clavish it is a fully clavish and the two cells are separated so both will be a female or it will be a male so ek spo oh, ek hi ova jo do bachcho ko produce karta hai that is called the identical twins dono ke dono same honge usme koi difference nahi hoga kyunki genetical structure everything it is the same in that बट अगर दो ओवाए और दो स्पॉम फर्टिलाइज कर रहे हैं सो दो जाइगोट बनेंगे तो एक के अंदर एक्स एक्स भी हो सकता है और दूसरे के अंदर एक्स वाई डिपेंडिंग ऑन स्पॉम सो हियर दो ओवा जो है वो दो स्पॉम से फर्टिलाइज हो रहे हैं बिकॉज ऑफ दैट वी आर गेटिंग द टू जाइगोट सो वन शुड बी अ फीमेल एंड अनदर विल बी अ मेल तो यहाँ पे ओवा अलग है and that's why they are known as the what non identical twins theek hai last question how many eggs do you think were released by the ovary of a female dog which gave a birth of six puppies 
अगर मान लो कि एक डॉग है वन डॉग इट इज गिविंग अ बर्ड टू दिक्स पपीज ठीक है तो उसके अंदर कितनी ओवरीज डेवलप होगी सो एक मंथ के उसके अंदर सिक्स ओवरी विल डेवलप सॉरी सिक्स ओवा विल डेवलप छ ओवा डेवलप होंगे जो छह पपीज को बर्थ करेंगे एंड दैट्स वाई दिस डॉग फीमेल डॉग इट इज नोन एज द मल्टी ओवेरियन वॉट इट इज कॉल मल्टी ओवेरियन मैं वापस रिपीट करती हूं अगर एक डॉग जो है वो छह पपीज को बर्थ करता है इसका मीनिंग क्या होता है कि वो जो फीमेल डॉग है उसके अंदर छह ओवा प्रोड्यूस हो रहे हैं और वो छह ओवा छह पपीज के अंदर कन्वर्ट हो रहे हैं तो एक साथ एक से ज्यादा अगर ओवा प्रोड्यूस होते हैं तो उस फीमेल को मल्टी ओवेरियन बोलते हैं जहां पे मल्टीपल ओवा प्रोड्यूस हो रहे सो इन द लास्ट क्वेश्चन ट्वेंटी वन द आंसर इज सिक्स ओवा इज प्रोड्यूस सारे जो क्वेश्चन है मैक्सिमम क्वेश्चन के आंसर आपके जो मैंने नोट्स दिए हैं वो नोट्स के अंदर है ही आप उसके अंदर से लिख सकते हो इफ यू हैव एनी डाउट और आपको कोई क्वेश्चन में समझ नहीं आता है सो यू कैन आस्क मी ओके यू कैन क्वेश्चन मी ऑन दिस चैनल और इवन माई नंबर